Hello, I'm Tin Man Four Three Two, and welcome back to Mega Man Zero Four. In the, in the last part, we beat the first two bosses and got some EX skills. I was just, you know, we got this uppercut one, classic fire uppercut. But anyway, let's head on to the next mission. Yeah, if I uh, if I don't hurry, the uh, entire world's gonna end in this game apparently. So uh, yeah, let's go. <laughs> next area we got is the hibernation chamber and yeah i discovered an old cyber elf research lab that is currently over a century old some of the experiments have been in hibernation since the war and some of them are starting to wake up and some of them are dangerous and there are mechanoids and mavericks and everywhere and we just gotta go in there and uh just kill everything classic mega man action I found a door in a different location with a special lock, and it looks like you'll need a card key to open it. This doesn't have any direct bearing on your current mission, but I just wanted to let you know in case you wanted to check it out. So, yeah, um, this is one of the dumb things about the weather system. This is another reason I don't like it. For this mission, on a sunny day, um, the snow would be melted, and there's a secret area, a secret sub-tank you can get, but I only if like see that down there that snow that would be gone and I could reach the sub tank but you know I can't cuz it's snowy I, I just I don't like the weather system very much it's not very smart I mean I guess I can compare it to the nightmare system of x6 which is an actual nightmare but um we'll get to that someday maybe I'll play x6 on this channel I don't know For this part you got some elevators um, pretty weird. I don't understand them. You just gotta, just gotta shoot the button to make the elevator move. Like that'll work in real life. And we got these um, variant dudes. That's what they're called, the poiple dudes. And I am really not taking advantage of my EX skills up as of this point. No, oh, well, in this part there's some icy floors and then also icicles that fall from the ceiling, but they're completely gone in the sunny, easy weather mode. Uh, kinda weird. Here we got a mini boss here. It will send out little wheel things out of each of the four corners, and you have to destroy all four corners. Pretty straightforward. I like to start with one side and just kinda jump slash it. Cause, um, you can take out two at a time that way. And then after that, I kinda like to do the top two. <laughs> yeah. And after you destroy each quadrants of it, it'll the wheels will get faster and faster every time. So yeah, just slash at it. You'll get it done eventually. Surely. And we only got one more. It should be done soon. I like to evenly take them out most of the time. A few more slashes should do it. There we are. So anyway, um, in that left door there, there's a little robot that can hold a key card, and you can pluck it from him with the zero knuckle. And then up ahead, I'll show you. There's a little door that you can open with that key card. But we can't get there because you know snow, and I don't want to play on easy on an easy difficulty because that'll lower my rank. I need some health. There we go. So one annoying thing is that when you're trying to shoot these variant dudes, you might hit the down switch, and uh, I've done that a lot. See there, I I almost hit the down switch. So yeah, up right here, that door there. Yeah, we need the key card to get in there and get the sub tank. But clearly, I don't have that, so we're just gonna continue on through the level. We got some metars, or metals, or mets, or Whatever you call them. Metala. Um, they have a lot of different names throughout the series. Uh, they haven't shown up in any of the Zero games, I don't think. Right here we got some escaping cyber elf thing experiments. And, uh, yeah. That's pretty much the whole level. After this little hallway here. Alright. Kinda lag in there. But whatever, here we are. 
Yeah, you've kept me waiting, hero. I thought you might get ripped apart by my helpers, and here I rushed to get everything ready for you. Then again, there are none that can keep up with me. I hope you can at least think things interesting. After all, you are a hero. Alright, uh, here we got this dude. I don't even remember his name. He likes to do this ball thing. He'll roll around. It's pretty, pretty hard to dodge when you have the icy floor. Uh, so anyway, uh, he'll do this stack thing with the frozen replicas of himself. The best thing to do is use your flaming uppercut. But that's what I do. And he got this attack here. He's probably about to kill me. With like, one HP left. Oh, it's gonna be sad. Oh, there we go. That uppercut would have killed him, but, <laughs> you know. I missed. Let's try that again. Three lives. I think that's the first time I've died in this playthrough. So yeah, just use the strategy. I I mean, you could use your Cyber Elf. Um, it really does make the game easier. Um, you could increase your health. I, I would just like to stick with the base health. Because I've played these Zero games quite a bit throughout my living. And I think I've gotten good at them enough where I don't need the Cyber Elf. But... I guess I do die, as I'm not a perfect gamer. Also, this dude's talking. He's about to die. Um, telling us to give up, even though he's dead. Pretty weird. Still got that A rank. I'm probably gonna lose it over the next two missions. Anyway, back in Resistance Base. Or the Resistance Trailer. Thank you, Zero. You helped contain the Cyber Elves. Now they can rest in peace. Okay, sure, man. So, uh, usually from this point in the game, uh, I would just choose any mission, really, because all of them, all the rest of them are pretty difficult. I should I, I don't want to say difficult, but... You know, they're harder than the other ones. But the Artificial Sun mission is probably the easiest. So, there's like a weather system over there in that area, and he's taking over, the Mr. Wild dude has taken over it and making it heat up. Uh, so yeah, if I had gotten the weather on easy, um, it would not be so hot, but we gotta change the weather to make it normal mode. Because, again, I refuse to play on easy mode. Alright, let's go. The temperature is rising rapidly in your location. Even you won't be able to last long in that heat. Once your armor reaches 100% capacity, you start taking damage. Oh no. Okay, whatever. Um... So this level's gimmick is that you gotta stay in the shade, it's a really dry heat. Um, if you go outside the shade, you see the percentage bar above, it'll start to rise, and if it gets to 100%, you start taking damage. Because that's how heat works. I don't know, um, how that actually works though, I was kidding. That doesn't make sense to me, but whatever, it's a video game, you know? You also got these generators you gotta destroy for a better mission um, score. And it also does lower the heat a very small amount, and in the boss fight as well. So just climb up the hill here and find the next generator room, and that's pretty much the whole level in a nutshell. Uh, one of the generator rooms is kind of a longer one, but I mean, that's basically it. This one, you got an another tower climb. Even though in the background a few seconds ago there was nothing above that hill. Huh. Level designers. But whatever, just climb up. You know. Take out the generators. Zero, do you have a fix on the main generator? Ah! It's no good! This thing's too fast! I can't get close! Oh. Get the generator! Yeah. 
It's like, <laughs> until mess up this time, Zero. I mean... Yeah, that, that clip right there was from the, um, short anime, um, Day of Sigma. It was in Mega Man Maverick Hunter X. Pretty good game. I think. I haven't played it. <laughs> I think I've said that before. I'm just gonna... Probably never gonna play it. I don't even... I don't know about PSP or whatever. But anyway, mid-boss here. So the way this one works, um... In order to actually damp the actual mid-boss is the crystal thing in the middle. But, you know, to get to that, you gotta, you know, kill everything surrounding it. Because that's taking all the hits. So, yeah. Kill those, and then it'll start to do this weird, um... Just start shooting, like, lasers around you. Or around it. And then you just, you just gotta, you just gotta slash it, like normal, you know? Just go over here, hop over. Same strategy from the turtle dude, whatever his name was, and uh, eventually it'll die. I don't know how long it'll take, but someday it's gonna happen. There we go, with our 1 HP, we managed to make it out of that. So let's continue. The next part of the level is pretty much the same. We got more heat outside, and more generators. It's like, yay, that's the original from huh, Capcom. Cap Capcom. Yeah, that was... I messed up there. <laughs> anyway, um, there's at least one generator. I always miss, and then I always go straight to the boss, and then I get like an 80% on the missions total, because the mission is to destroy these generators, and if you skip that, then you lose points. So yeah, um, I don't know where it is, but yeah. It was these annoying tractor enemies, and they'll like, you know, shoot you. It's pretty annoying. I just said annoying twice in like the same, you know, statement. I need to work on my grammar skills, but whatever. Um, stay in the shade. It's a little harder this time because the shade's pretty um, unevenly placed. It's hard to get to. And they're further apart and stuff. But whatever. Uh, I'm doing some great commentary today. I don't know if you guys have noticed. But, whatever. This is the last generator. I always miss it because I always go to the right, to the boss fight. Like I just said, you know, literally, just now. And, uh, next up, we got... We got the boss fight. And... What, what, what's your name again? Oh, well, the really annoying one. <laughs> I like the burning things. And the arsonry. We'll see that in a second. You must have be quite fired up to come this far. Oh, but you're not fired up enough for me. I want to see you sweat. I want to see tears. Show me everything you've got. I love making guys like you into charcoal. No, it's time to get burned. I'm still learning the voice acting. I'll get it down someday. I will become full Japanese. Anyway, this boss fight's pretty tricky. Um, while trying to stay in the shade at the same time, you gotta avoid these bomb things. And the boss, actually. Um, but luckily, the heat is kinda toned down now when you destroy the generators, so it is a little easier. So she has this attack, she'll send the fire at you and you gotta dash underneath it. Um, that one's probably her easiest attack to dodge. We got these ones, these fans. My emulator cannot load them properly, so I can't really see them. Um, but yeah, just the full slashes, or a triple slash when she touches down to put those bombs. I uh, can shave down the boss's health pretty efficiently. <laughs> Somehow we're still maintaining that A average. Meanwhile, in Resistance trailer. Welcome back. Or welcome back. Welcome back, Zero. How are you holding up? Even for you, that level of heat is dangerous. I was so worried. I'm glad to see you're safe. There are Reploids converging on Area Zero. Wiles Reploids are engaging on the settlement. Fighting is breaking across our, the settlement. Yeah, let's go. We gotta, we gotta go, man. We gotta save those guys, even though they said not to. I mean, we, we, we gotta do that. We gotta not save our data because that's dangerous to the. 
It's dangerous to the YouTube video. It'll break the space-time continuum. No. I, sorry, I just kind of freaked out. I just, I just ate a piece of bread. Um, eating pieces of bread just makes me freak out, you know? About simple little things like that. Um, so anyway, the settlement's on fire. We gotta, you know, just put out the frame, the flames and save literally everyone. It'll, it's, all, it's, a, it's an easy day today. Uh, we got some pretty... Um, we just got some pretty watery death right there. <laughs> I, I don't like this part. The Game Boy Advance screen is big enough to host a Mega Man level, but not big enough, apparently. So these frogs are jerks. Um, you know, if you fall into the water, there's nothing you can do. There's no, like, platform. Um, if you fall in there, you're dead. Like, instant. Like you just saw. But, um... Anyway, let's try not to do that again. Let's actually destroy these variant dudes before they can push us into the water. Oh, hey, you hear that? <laughs> you know what nice music in a Mega Man game means. Yeah. I'll be back in a bit. Here's, uh, this track here. Oi, so now we're in the, um, what is it, the camp, and as you can see, it's pretty, um, on fire. So for this mission, we gotta go in the buildings and kill the little variants, dudes, and then they'll run away and be like, Huh, you're a reploid, you're, you're bad at living, and we're bad at- Anyway, uh, you gotta take out your zero knuckle, and you gotta take out these little sprinkler system things that are just on the ground, and you gotta water out the fire. I just said water out the fire. Oh well, just, you know, do that. Repeat. And, uh, yeah, the humans are just being jerks, man. It's pretty mean. Anyway, let's continue on. More fire. Put that out. We don't want no fires here. Fires are bad. Fires are poison. Fires are lethal. From my experience, at least. That sounded kind of weird. Uh, just so you know, I haven't died of a fire <laughs> yet. Um, anyway, let's continue on. Let's get let's get a little off topic there. Um, yeah, I think we got more two more rooms. Use my EX skills. They're pretty neat. Yeah, gotta put out that fire, and we got one more fire and one more dude to take care of. Here we go. I will save this last dude, and everything will be perfectly fine. Except the humans are still jerks. Uh, no offense to any uh, humans who might be watching this. Hmm. All right, we've saved everyone. Thank you for saving us, Mister Zero. Is everyone at the settlement all right? Yes, everyone's okay. But I can't find Niche. I wonder if she's hiding somewhere. I'll check around. All right, be careful. So Niche is just uh, literally is nowhere. But guess who is? It's our man, Kraft. Hmm. She wasn't here either. Hi, Kraft. How you doing? Ah, oh, Zero. I see you ex protecting Area Zero because of the settlement. You were at New York, Kitty and Reploid. You used to fight for humanity. How could you fight for Dr. Wild and attack the settlement? Lord Wild has all the world's energy in his grasp. Humans and Reploids have no choice but to live under him. They are fools who don't understand and fight us, even though they have no chance of victory. As long as you and the humans continue to fight, there will be casualty. <laughs> I just spit all over my computer screen. That's pretty gross. Anyway, here was a uh, craft. Uh, he's a pretty hard boss fight when you don't have your cyber elf turned on at all. Um, he'll throw a lot of these projectiles. He'll throw a laser. He'll throw a knife. He's got a lot of weapons on him, and, uh, yeah, let's try that again. Hi, Craft, how are you doing? Oh, you just, just start fine. Alright, yeah, dialogue skip, right, of course. Um, anyway, here we go. Uh, you can actually blow up the bombs while they're in air. Um, that's the smart thing to do, because they do explode when they hit the ground. 
and if you run into where the mark where it exploded, then you take damage. Nobody likes to take damage, it's, it's just bad for your health. Uh, that knife, when he when he pulls out that knife, he will lunge forward at you. So don't don't run into a knife, it's not healthy, like I said. Uh, triple slash, um, triple slash, full charge slash, and uh, yeah, you should be good to go. Just kill him off real slowly. I'll get him someday. I will. Zero lives left. I better get him right now. Here we go. Round three. Fight. Sorry, I was just I was just pausing my uh, commentary to listen to Kraft's voice acting. It's pretty uh, pretty good and not fake Australian. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Kraft, pretty hard boss fight. I don't know why I'm dying so much. He's not that hard, so I'm gonna just blame this darn Xbox 360 controller. <laughs> Wireless, of course, because I'm cool. All right, last hit. There we go. But it would appear that our A rank has gone before us. <laughs> so this is the power of a legendary rep lord. I should have known. You should have. What's holding you back, Kraft? What are you talking about? You're not going all out. It's almost like you wanted to lose. There must be something else behind your attack on the settlement. There is nothing else. Now, just as then, I'm fighting for humanity. Voice crack. I'm just really weak, and I wanted to kill the settlement for the greater good. Humans must learn the folly of defying Lord Wild. <coughs> My throat itches. Niche. Greater good. What are you doing to help humanity? How do you talk about the greater good after seeing what you've done to harm nature and the settlement? It took a long time for nature to return to its former glory, with the humans leaving there to find peace. You're trampling humanity underfoot, not helping it. It doesn't matter how hard you try to justify your actions, you're both just fighting for the same stupid war. Thanks, Nij. Nij, I should have known you were here. Yeah, you should have. Kraft, why do you follow while? When I first met you, you were a proud warrior. You, you said you'd, do, you'd bring peace to the world and protect humans. You promised me. Yes, I, I remember. And I'm keeping my promise by doing this. <laughs> no, he escaped. Really, Zero, what makes you think that? Come in, Zero. I'm reading the Reploid signals growing fainter. You did it. Seal, Kraft's got Nige. Can you track his signal? What? I'll get right on it. So she was friends with one of those New Yorkidian rep lords. Darn humans being jerks. She pretended to be helping us this whole time. And you. You are the resistance rep lord zero. <laughs> Some legend. And that other one kept talking about helping humanity. But look what he did to our settlement. Are you gonna go help Nige? Th that woman. She's with the rep lords. I'm not gonna stick my neck out for her. I can't believe you. You're just going to abandon her? She put her life on the line to stop the fight and save you and your settlement. What's of it? If we save her, we might get attacked again. Look at you, all cowering in fear. You're no different than the humans in New Arcadia. How dare you? If you're going to be like that, why even put your lives at stake to leave New Arcadia in the first place? Well, well... Zero? I found Nige. Get back here ASAP. I'll be right there. Please, save Nige. Thanks, all helmet boy. You're smart. Pistol. Welcome back, Zero. I know where Nige was taken. There's an enemy base west of our current position. Nige and Kraft should be there. We're ready to transfer. We're ready to transfer when you are. 
Unfortunately, I'm not ready to transfer. I've been kept in this going uh, episode is about 25 minutes. It's a pretty long episode, so you know what? I'm gonna just stop right now. Goodbye, have a good day. Peace and sheep. I still don't know what that, that phrase even means. I just kind of thought of it one day and...